da 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 hot dog. I'm just gonna do a mixture of voiceover and talk through because this, this is one of the highly requested videos on my channel on on my instagram i get this question asked a lot after my oh my god i had to lose weight question um i get asked um uh, hey i'm just starting with makeup what do i start with and they like ask me about all these gazillion products and i have so many things to recommend but they're not always budget friendly and they're not always beginner friendly so yesterday i just really had to sit down and then just ask myself okay what are some beginner friendly makeup products and things i used to use in the past when i was a beginner i mean i'm still a beginner sometimes but i think i'll just do voiceover because i always start with a very very good base and that's why make my makeup lasts so much longer on my face, I've already washed it, double cleansed it, and then I have already applied some toner and hydrating mist. Now you can go grab your regular moisturizer. It can be anything, something like you have to have a good moisturizer that works for you. So go grab that. In my case, I'm grabbing this Neogen um, Vita Duo Cream for day and night. No matter what you are, even if you're a beginner or an advanced makeup artist or just, you know, a professional, or you, even if you do not do makeup at all, hydration, skin hydration, and skincare is really important no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you are in the world. I don't know if I can say that. Anyways, all right, so I'll be taking it from here. Um, hi, this is the voiceover girl. Um, so that's my makeup pouch and in here I've put some beginner friendly makeup products that that's just me admiring my new coffee pods. It was delicious. <laughs> Anyways, let's not go there, okay? By the way, that's Nespresso, okay? So I need to flex a little bit. I would personally recommend having a little makeup pouch where you put all your beginner friendly makeup products so you can just whip the bag out when you want to sit down do your makeup even if you are a beginner um i would really really suggest um having a primer because primer really really helps it creates a smooth base for your foundation and other liquid products it blurs out your pores gives you a very nice canvas to work on and it also helps your makeup last longer so i would really really recommend having a primer in your little beginner makeup pouch and this one here by elf is very affordable and works great okay so if you know me you know i like to do my eyebrows first I usually use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade, but that's not very budget friendly. It is $25 for that little container, yes, but it's amazing. But when I was a beginner, I used to use a eyebrow powder to do my eyebrows, and it worked great. So that's what I have here. I have this little eyeshadow palette by ColourPop. I think having a little eyeshadow palette like this with everyday colors and some shimmer is very convenient, especially if you're just a beginner because you definitely don't want to overwhelm yourself with different types of colors, products, multiple shadows, and you know, if you're a beginner, it's very convenient to have one palette that works for multiple things. Also, the angled brush I'm using is from Milani. This is my favorite eyebrow brush. So basically, I'm just filling in my eyebrows, making a little art, just basically following my natural hair. Nothing too crazy since we're just a beginner. I am now done with the brows, so we're going to move on to the eyes. And you guessed it right, we're going to be using the same eyeshadow palette we used for our brows. If you're new to the world of eyeshadows, just go for all these little palettes first. You don't have to go ahead and buy a big eyeshadow palette just yet with, you know, 
550 colors in it just go with little eyeshadows like this this is what i did as a beginner you end up using all the colors you know your shade you know how to work with it you get used to blending and tools and brushes and stuff like that and then you go ahead and invest in a bigger eyeshadow palette that's what i did when i bought my uh, morphe x jaclyn hills palette oh my god i was so happy anyways back to eyeshadow we're gonna be using that shade over there that i just showed you and we're just gonna focus on the outer corners with a very light hand and a fluffy brush again don't overwhelm yourself and buy 500 different brushes just to apply a simple eyeshadow if you are a beginner if you're not you can go do whatever you want um i worked with a lot of neutral warm shades when i was just getting into makeup um i still am not a very big fan of cool tones i like orange yellow you know all those warm peachy tones when it comes to eyeshadow um i still need to explore the world of cool tones myself but yeah, warm tones are just so easy and fun to work with, so that's what I'm doing and it looks very subtle and beautiful and elegant. Yeah, you're right. We're going back to the same eyeshadow palette. See? See? You can use that palette for literally everything. So I'm gonna go grab this super shimmery shade on my finger, of course. You don't even need a brush. Uh, the ring finger uh, that was made to apply glitters on your eyelids. Yes, that finger and just dab it onto your crease. The eyeshadow palette is from Colourpop, by the way. They do lots of different eyeshadow palettes like this. So many different colors, different types of shimmer, metallic, matte, anything you want, Colourpop. You should definitely go and check their website out. It's very bright, beautiful, colorful. And the prices, OMG, you won't believe it. They're super affordable and, of course, beginner-friendly. Alright, so we have eyeliner now. This one here with me is... From the dollar store, yes, that's right, that was just one dollar. And the second eyeshadow in the video is from e.l.f., of course, one of my favorite makeup brands. They do amazing eyeliner. When it comes to eyeliner, I like to like... I like to like... I like to have um, the traditional liquid dip eyeliner um, over uh, the pencil liquid liners because, I don't know, I'm just old, I think. Uh, no, it's just about preference. And this eyeliner from e.l.f. is very, very, very dark. It's very smooth, very pigmented, and it's waterproof, and it's $3. I think that's the best part. I really recommend having a liquid eyeliner in your makeup kit because it's eyeliner. Why wouldn't you have it? You can do all sorts of fun things, make cat eye, play around. Eyeliner also takes a lot of practice, control, precision, and all sorts of things. So it's always a good thing to have in your makeup kit if you're a beginner and you're, again, new to the world of eyeliners, then start with a cheap, inexpensive eyeliner. Moving on, everybody knows what this is. This is just a lash curler. Um, I am not going to show you guys fake lashes, lash glue, lash applicator in this video because it can be a little overwhelming again. So we're just going to stick to curled up lashes, your natural lash, and some mascara. Alright, so for mascara, I'm of course going to go with my favorite brand when it comes to mascara and budget-friendly makeup, Essence Cosmetics. They saved my life when I was just a beginner. So yep, I used to use the same exact mascara back home and that's Colourpop's Act Natural Mascara, which is also very good, but nothing beats Essence's price. It was amazing. It was, I believe, $4 or 3 something. I put a little sticker up on my Instagram asking you guys what is your holy grail product and so many. So many of you guys said mascara and that made me realize, oh my god, that's so true because when I was starting with makeup, I, I was a little overwhelmed by fake lashes, lash applicator, good lashes and then um, lash glue and stuff like that so I was very very loyal to my Essence mascara if you are in Nepal but but in Imapani um, Essence goes Stalta and you can grab a very good mascara from them honestly all their mascaras have just been amazing 
So now we're moving on to my favorite part, the face. And we're starting with foundation and you guys know what's coming up. My Maybelline Fit to Me foundation. This just takes me all the way back to 2016, 2017 and all those beautiful years when I was struggling to buy a good foundation. Anyways, the applicator is, of course, a little, you know, not very convenient. But every time I pour it on the back of my hand, it legit takes me back to Nepal where... I was just a small girl trying to do something online. But yeah, um, investing in a good foundation is a very, very good idea, which I didn't do when I was just getting started. I used to use all those cheap, fake foundations. Um, I am surprisingly very open about it, but hey, um, you guys are my friends. So I would highly recommend having a good foundation in your makeup kit. If you are a beginner, you can also obviously go ahead with a BB cream or a CC cream, but nothing beats a good coverage foundation. So Maybelline Fit Me has a medium to full coverage and it blends really fast. The longevity of the foundation is amazing. It has a matte finish to it, which I do not mind because I have a combination skin. And it's super affordable and it's one of my favorite foundations and I will never stop using Maybelline Fit Me foundation. So after the foundation is nice and blended, we're going to go back to our beginner friendly makeup kit and grab a concealer. Concealer is also another important product to have in your makeup kit if you're a beginner. So with a concealer, we're going to brighten up our under eyes you know cover the dark circles if you have acne spot acne scars we're gonna cover that too any kind of blemishes or you know spots that you don't want other people to see we're gonna blend it with a concealer concealer is a lot thicker than your foundation and a shade lighter than your foundation i'm using else camouflage camouflage i don't know how to say that word that concealer, yeah, that was very, very, very trendy on TikTok and everywhere. People were comparing it with the Tarte's Shape Tape. I've never used that because that's how expensive. But this found concealer is amazing. And not to mention the price, this is just $8 and it's amazing. Hello? And of course, I'm using an e.l.f. beauty sponge to blend everything. This is also about eight to nine dollars and it's great it is amazing i use i also have a real technique beauty sponge um that's also very good but that's not very budget friendly especially if you're a beginner you want to you know work with something cheap so after all the cream products you of course always want to set it in place and no this video was not sponsored by maybelline elf or any other brand these are just products i really really like as you can tell by this um compact powder that i'm holding it's done i am done with it but i'm gonna use the last bit of it so yeah uh just get yourself a um compact powder they're so much easier to work with. I would say start with a compact powder and then upgrade to loose powder. I have both. I always hopscotch between compact and loose powder, but I think I like compact powder better because they are very convenient. You just open, dab, 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 you're good to go. I have not really gone into details with uh, brushes and other tools because I am planning on making a separate video on that. So for that reason, we're just going to be product focused today and not tools and stuff because I will be doing a separate video just talking about beginner friendly brushes. So for that, please subscribe because I will be coming up with a lot of makeup contents this year. But yeah, um, if you are getting a liquid foundation and if you are getting a creamy concealer, then please get a setting powder because you don't want your product to be smudging everywhere, a compact powder a setting powder sets everything in place so it's always good to have it in your kit okay so this is when i realized i forgot to show you guys my holy grail product the liquid blush by colourpop i was so mad so here it is <laughs> i've already put on some powder um so i can't really put it on top of 
a powder product because it's just gonna look muddy and it's not gonna blend very good so yeah so this is a serum blush that i really 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 like and this is actually one of my holy grail products in my kit but since i forgot here is what it looks like it's from colourpop it's called cheek dew and the name of the shade is star fruit it's amazing i'm so sorry i forgot i usually put it uh, before my foundation and after my foundation so the color really pops but then today i just forgot i'm so sorry foundation concealer powder our face looks a little flat so we're gonna bring back some color and we're gonna bronze it up so a bronzer gives you a sun-kissed look and brings back a little bit of color and warmth to your face which we lost because of all those creamy products but this beautiful big pan bronzer is from essence cosmetic it smells so good it smells like coconuts for some reason so you grab your fluffy brush dab it onto the products a couple times and with a very light hand with a very light hand you just you know rub it all over your face the outer parts of your face i really love bronzer they don't look super harsh but they have this subtle sun-kissed warm sensation feeling and look to it which i really really like and your face does not look flat and boring anymore if you don't want to step into contouring and sculpting your face yet bronzer is the way to go you can upgrade to contour after you're comfortable with you know working on the outer parts of your face however bronzer and contour is not the same thing they are two very different things but for today's video i'm just going to be bronzing so i use this palette when i'm contouring um, it's a blush palette but it works just as good for contour so i use this palette it's from folklore beauty so yeah, I think having a bronzer in your beginner makeup kit is a good idea. So this next step and this makeup product is something you have to have in your beginner makeup kit. Even if you're a beginner, even if you're an advanced makeup artist or whatever, you have to have a blush. Because blush makes everything beautiful. And I am more of a peachy, corally blush person than a intense pink blush. It's just my preference. I know a lot of people who swear by their pink cheeks, but I am a peachy blush gal, like I always say. And this blush palette is from Folklore Beauty again. They are also another affordable makeup brand. So you just dab the product onto the apples of your cheeks and slowly with a very light hand drag it upwards because you don't want a droopy pink cheeks you want it to be you want the blush to give you a lifted effect all right so we're gonna do some highlight and yes you guessed it right we're going back to the same old palette we use for our eyeshadow and our eyebrows and we're gonna be using the same shade to highlight you can again use um your fingertips but i have fat fingers so i'm gonna go with a um, pointed brush it's so much easier to work with a small pointed brush like this it's so precise dip into the products and just place it onto the tip of your nose that's my favorite part to highlight it just makes such a big difference the inner corners of your eyes and your brow bones as well I hope you finally realize how important and convenient it is to have a little eyeshadow palette that can work for so many different things so yeah go grab yourself an eyeshadow palette like this and i'm also doing my waterline just the same fluffy brush and just doing my waterline nothing special or crazy and we are moving towards the end of the video and we're gonna wrap everything up with a very pretty lip color what's your favorite lipstick I've used a lot of different kinds of lipsticks in the past, but I think nude lipsticks look good with anything and everything. These are some of the options you can use. The lipstick I'm about to use in the video is by Moonshot in the shade Chai Tea. It has a little hint of pink and peach, which is very pretty. 
you can get this from YesStyle. It's a Korean brand. It does not dry my lips at all and it has a matte velvety finish to it. So as you can already see, I've pretty much used everything except for that little blush that I forgot to put on. Um, that's okay. Um, as long as you guys know about the blush, I think it's fine. Anyway, so this is the look we have come up with. I think it's very pretty, very easy to do. It's beginner friendly. The products I've used are very affordable. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's a little clip of me feeling all pretty. This is how I'm going to attend my class today. Oh my god. Makeup is not cheap at all, especially when you talk good, authentic, high quality makeup. It's not cheap at all. I don't want you to like go and break the bank, you know, like just go super broke just to get started with makeup. Just try, experiment with all these bits and pieces. And then if you like it, if you really enjoy it, then you can, you know, invest a little, save a little. And just to get you started, I wanted to include um, drugstore affordable makeup. I mean, I still use drugstore affordable makeup. I mean, that's all I use, honestly. I go to Sephora just to look at makeup because, again, I'm a student and I'm in a budget. So I can't be spending like $75 on a foundation, which I would love to, but then where am I going to stay? Who's going to pay my rent? Exactly. So yeah, um, I know a lot of you guys are on a budget or, you know, have it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed it. I've said that like 500 times. Anyways, and let me know if you guys like this setup. The Hello Kitty sitting right there is a new thrift find. Um, I'm super, super, super happy with the purchase. It's super, super, super cute. And it was just $2. Like, who would put Miss Little Miss Hello Kitty in the thrift store for just $2? But whoever did, thank you. Um, she's in a better place now. See you guys in my next video and we're almost 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 at 16,000 subscribers which again is unbelievable why am i so close